Investments family, peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back in our video. This one's going to be about seven things to expect when God has taken you to a new level, when God is trying to turn your life around for the better. And these are the things you're going to see. So let's go. Let's go. Number one thing you're going to see yeah, that you have to expect. You have to expect this when it comes to leveling up, turning your life, turning your life around for the better, is that you're going to have to depart from your willful sin. God's going to increase your conviction, okay? There's a time when you weren't leveling up, when you're on the broad, wide gate, when you could just live in sin and disobedience, and you wouldn't experience any type of, you know, conviction. You were just, you know, comfortable, pretty much. But when God is preparing you, when God's speaking to you, when the Spirit of God is pouring out, when, his, when He's pouring out the Spirit upon you, it's going to come with conviction to depart from your willful sin. So when it comes to leveling up in life, guys, all go, all correlates to being obedient. So you could expect, okay, departing from your willful sin. And this is why the Bible says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, to see God's kingdom and his righteousness, okay? And let's go over this verse real quick. This is in Romans chapter 6, verse 16. It says, Know ye not that whom you yield yourself to servants to obey, his servants you are ye to obey, whether into sin and to death, or into obedience into righteousness. But thank but God be thanked that you were servants of sin, that you have obeyed from the heart from the doctrine which was delivered to you. Okay. We are all once servants of sin. Okay, but now once we 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 got the true doctrine, okay, we got this Holy Spirit, you know, now we gotta repent. Now we gotta be the slaves, the servant of righteousness. Okay, so this is all when it comes to leveling up, you gotta depart from your willful sin. The demons that you may face, okay. The strongholds that you battle with, you got to break free. And that's only through the Holy Spirit, only through the Son of God, Jesus, Yeshua, to break you free. Okay, number two, the second thing you could expect before God levels you up is you, got, you have to expect losing friends, losing family members, and also meaningless relationships. Okay, losing friends. And you're going to start to see your, especially your friends, okay, your, your so-called friends, okay, that weren't supposed to be in your life anyways, okay, probably unequally yoked. You're, they're going to start to feel some type of way. Uh, so feel some type of resentment because they see that God's working in your life. They see it. And that's why they get jealous and envious. They're going to try to switch up and change on you. You have to expect that, okay? Even the person you would never expect, okay? Because even Judas was around Christ, okay? There was always, always going to be a devil that, you, that you're close with, that you have no idea that's a devil, that's a demon. And they're going to feel some type of way, man. I'm telling you, when God first leveled me up, when I first walked the narrow path, the people he removed in my life, I had, I would never know that they were of the enemy, man. And, you know, so you could expect when God's preparing you to level up, your friends, your family member, uh, your girlfriend or your boyfriend, okay, if they're not meant to be in God's will in your life, they're going to start to switch up and change on you. They're going to feel some type of way because they see that God is working through you. They And, and it, it convicts them. The Holy Spirit in you is bothering their demons, okay? And they, they can see the light in you. They can see the glow in you before you could even see it. Yes, okay? Even the Bible says that you are the light of the world, okay? So people can see it before you could even see it. Or right, your light is beaming and it bothers their demons. It aggravates them. So you could expect friends, family members. You know, I also put also meaningless relationships. And also, guys, all this correlates to seven things to expect correlates to having faith. Because without faith, it is impossible to please the Most High, okay? Always remember that without faith, it's impossible to please Him. And through all this too, departing from your willful sin. Speaking too fast, but faith without works is dead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna collaborate on that towards the end. Okay, number three. Ooh, this is a good one. These demons, these devils, man, you have to know this, okay? So the number three thing to expect before God levels you up, before He changes your life around, man, is the devil will try to make you go backwards, okay? These devils, these demons, make sure to go backwards through his devices, okay, through his devices and through his temptations, okay, the Bible says we are not ignorant of Satan's devices, so you have to know the word of God, you have to be aware of spiritual warfare that's taking place in your life every single day, and you also have to be aware of Satan's, you know, trying to tempt, uh, tempt you, because the Bible says that God does not tempt us, okay, so if God is not tempting us, it must be the devil, Okay, and when and see the devil knows when you're about to level up. Oh, he knows. Okay, he even knew when Christ was about to level up. Before when Christ was fasting, uh, forty days and forty nights. Okay, he came up to Christ and tried to uh, tempt him. Hey, I'll, I'll give you this if you worship me. He knew he was about to ascend. He knew it. Okay, just how how the devil knows when God's about to ascend you, about to level you up. Okay, you're gonna have these scoffers, these agents, these demons. They're gonna have all these things to say. And see, when you see this happening, when you see the devil try to tempt you, go back and let, let's say like. You've departed from your willful sin, right? You start to see yourself losing friends and family. You start to feel more connected to God. You're reading your Bible more. 
you're praying more, you're fasting more, you're, you're doing everything that you know, the wisdom and the knowledge and understand that you have already to do everything you can to seek God wholeheartedly, seeking his, uh, loving God with all your heart, your mind, your body, and your soul. When you start to do that, you're going to start to see these demons start to pile up. Okay, and these demons are just trying to take out your blessings. Okay, every new door that God opens to you, there's always going to be a new devil. Every new level you go up, there's always going to be a new devil. Have something negative to say or bring up your past. Let's say there's a sin that you gave up, and all of a sudden they bring your past, trying to like mock and scoff you. And oh, you, you, you used to do that uh, last week, but you repented from that. You're not trying to do that anymore. Okay, so that's what thing about a demon will do. These devils, just ignore it. Okay, ignore it. Keep going up, keep leveling up. Keep being obedient, okay? Because, yes, these devils and demons, they're going to falsely accuse. They're going to do whatever they can to make you to, to stop that blessing. But whatever God bless, uh, has for you, no man could take away. No demon, no devil could take that away. So always remember that, too. The number four thing to expect, okay, before that level up, is that God will allow, yes, 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 he will allow the trials, okay? He will allow the tests, and it will only benefit you. Okay, there's a Bible verse in James chapter one, uh, James chapter one, verse to 12. I'll leave a verse on the screen so you guys can see it somewhere on the screen. It says, blessed is the man that endured temptation for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Okay, so blessed is the man that endures temptation. Okay, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, who the Lord hath promised to them that give him. So yes, God will allow the trials. Okay, he will allow the tests. We look at the Bible, we see Job was tested. Job was put to the test. Job passed the test. So he got those blessings. He got double, uh, everything that he lost, he got double. So the same thing with when your life, everything that you're losing, okay, and but you're losing for righteousness sake because you could lose things because, you know, you reap what you sow. Let's say maybe you stole it from somebody and they're just coming back to you. In life, you reap what you sow. But if you start to lose things, okay, and sometimes when God is taking things away, it's actually for your own benefit. This is where wisdom comes in hand, okay? But once you start to lose things and you're doing, the, you're doing the right thing, you're not out here living like the devil. You're not out, out here on the broad, wide path that leads to destruction. And, but if you're losing things, you're doing the right thing. You're departing from your sin. You're living a life of seeks repentance. You're keeping God's Ten Commandments. You're doing everything. You're keeping the faith in Christ, everything right. And you start to lose things, okay? You start to see these tests and trials start to pop up. I'm telling you guys, relax. Be patient because a blessing is coming near. 100%. 100%. I, guys, I have testimony after testimony. Test them and see one thing about these one thing about these trials and tests, okay? The devil will come to try to stop that. The devil doesn't want you to be happy, bro. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So you gotta expect these devils and demons to, to start to come out and manifest in your life out of nowhere. Popping up out of nowhere. You got to expect that. But like I said, you also have to expect once you pass that test, the blessings are gonna overflow. Woo! Yes, yes, man. So yes, God will allow the trials and tests. Remember Joe, and it will only benefit you, okay? Number five is, the number five thing to expect before God levels you up is you may find yourself alone, okay? I talk about this a lot, you know, why God isolates his chosen ones. So you may find yourself alone in an isolation season. And what that means, you know, I don't mean that, you, this, I'm not saying that you're going to be forever alone. No, I'm not saying that, but it's going to be a season. Whatever, how long God has placed you on the isolation season, remember the Bible says there's a time for everything under heaven. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 to 8, okay? So it might be a time to, to be alone, So you, but you're not alone. In the spiritual realm, you have the angels around you, okay? If you fear God, you have angels that camp around you. Uh, you you're now reading your Bible, your Bible more. You're praying more. You're meditating on the Word of God more. You're building up your spirit. And see, sometimes we have to do this because, you know, when we were not uh, departing from a willful sin, we were just, when, when you're living a life of a willful sin, you're just adding more strongholds. You're allowing these demons and devils to destroy you, to torment you, okay? But now we've repented from that. So God God knows that you have the strongholds to break free from, okay? And so to take time, you know, you'd have to, like I said, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and, and that process and the isolation season, you're breaking free, okay? You're breaking free. Maybe now you, can, now you have time to get baptized. There's no distractions. So one thing I learned about when God isolated me for the first time, it was no distractions. I got to learn more about my Heavenly Father and learn more about the Son of God, Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Okay, so yes, yeah, so you might find yourself alone, all right? Number six is your interests will start to change, okay? You're, what I mean by that, if you're a video gamer, if you, like to play, if you like to watch sports or you like to use social media, you like to care about these celebrities and stuff, okay? And there's nothing wrong with playing video games and... Um, watching sports, there's nothing wrong with that. We're not overly religious, overly righteous. But the thing about this is, you're no longer gonna care about Instagram, Twitter, you know, you no longer care about your KDR on Call of Duty or your score on Fortnite. 
you, you're not going to care about that no more. You're not going to even desire to play those games no more. You're going to be more interested in seeking God's kingdom and his righteousness. Like I said, everything is a season. Not saying that you can't play that no more. I'm not saying that, but you're not going to be as interested in doing those things because your heart is fully 100% surrendered into the Most High and you're doing His will, you're keeping His commandments, and you're loving Him with all your heart, your, your mind, your body, and your soul, and all your might, all your strength, okay? This is what we all have to be doing as a chosen one. That's the most important thing. That's the greatest commandment, okay? To love God with all your soul, okay? So you're going to find yourself, your interest is no longer in the things of this world. It's no longer... You don't care about it no more, okay? And like I said, we don't preach to overly religious, overly righteous. I'm not saying that you can't watch a sports game, can't play a video game. I'm not saying that. So please use wisdom to what I'm saying. But you're going to find yourself in your interest start to change. You don't care about social media. Or you, just don't, you just don't care about that no more, all right? So number seven is the seven things to expect before God levels you up is you will feel it in your spirit. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go, man. You're going to feel it in your spirit that it's time to level up. And you have to also remember wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Okay, remember, seek wisdom more than you seek gold. Seek understanding more than you seek silver. Okay, you got to understand that obedience is key. Okay, when it comes to love going up, God uh, changing your life around, you got to be obedient. It's going to come with work. Okay, faith without works is dead. That's what I said earlier. I'll talk about this in a bit. James chapter 2, verse 26. Your faith is going to produce works. Your faith is going to produce you to repent from your willful sin. Your faith is going to, you know, convict you that. You know, when, when the devils and the demons start to come, you got to fight. You got to have the armor of God on, man, and fight against these demons and devils, okay? So you're going to fill it in your spirit. Obedience is key. And like I was saying with number three, you know, new new levels, new devils, okay? So you got to have the armor of God on, understand the spiritual warfare. The devil does not want you to feel good. He doesn't want you to, to ascend to the kingdom of God because the more you level up in God's kingdom, the more you're going to win souls over for the kingdom. The devil don't want that. You don't want that in your life, okay? He doesn't want souls being saved. Misery loves company. He wants you to burn into hell with them. He wants you to go to the lake of fire with them. So these are the seven things you're going to see, okay? The seven signs you're going to see to expect before God levels you up. I hope you guys got edified from this video. If you made this far, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video on all social media platforms. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.